Bob! Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with uh, Omega Wolf. Hi. Uh, our special guest, Omega Wolf. Hi. Um, who's actually the other Franken brother, who's <laughs> yeah. the other uh, namesake for the show. And also True Blue Blur, who is the main person on this specific game. Yeah, alongside. long time no see. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh, in other news, um, I don't know, Any anything, oh, <laughs> oh he news. like scratched himself, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Is that going to be added to the soup? His, his, his like his, his, his dander. Some, oh man, potatoes. Look, look at the look at the fish. He's like, no. <laughs> the fish is like, save me. I think too it's late. a little too late. As yes. it's like other parts of its body are hanging like over there. Yes, there. I don't know. I, was, uh, I can't feel my flippers. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was actually watching America's Funny Some videos at one point, and there was this <laughs> video of some people at a sushi place. And when they got brought out their food, which was a fish, uh -huh. uh, they, there was the fish head on the plate. Oh, really? And the fish head was still trying to breathe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And they were there, all there freaking are, out. There are some kinds of sushi, like in particular um, uh, octopus tentacles, where when you add soy sauce, it makes them twitch because there's a chemical reaction with the, uh, the ingredients in the soy sauce. Yeah, it's actually fairly common for dead things to move. <laughs> yeah. um, ask any like oh. mortician. Um, How does this humans work? Humans especially, uh, like they, you know, turn. especially when like the like the rigor mortis <laughs> sets in, you know, uh, all sorts of crazy things can happen. Use your lantern on the ice in the middle. Is lantern. that? Yeah. Okay. What I you're can give that a do? shot. I can give that a shot. So it's been uh, it's been like what two weeks, three weeks? Uh, oh, since? too oh, close. That is Let too me close. Out. Uh, is that going to work? I it is not or, sufficient. Are, are you going to get fire arrows in here? There are no fire arrows in this game. There's no fire arrows in this game. Bomb, maybe? I could try a bomb. Well, maybe... I'll give it a shot. shot. Are we going to come back that? later? It went through it. it. Huh. Uh, Walls are a suggestion. That reminds me of uh, the other game that we played, Astrologia or whatever. Yeah. Oh, get out the the developer was actually watching our let's plays. Yeah, yeah. And it was amazing, like watching. What was the actual quote? I wonder uh, if I can. You guys are magicians. You guys are like magicians <laughs> or something. Yeah. He's, I'm gonna have to spend so much time play testing to find that glitch again. Oh man. <laughs> and he's just he's like my jaw actually dropped, and he like linked like the specific part of the video that like. <laughs> I think that might have actually been me who who caused that glitch, though. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. oh, um, I I think I see a possibility. Can you touch the block of ice? I uh, know it'll hurt me too. Yeah, it'll. Yeah, mm. that's why it's. Yeah, I'm gonna push this against the other one, I think. But uh, speak. So yeah, we we actually got a review copy of that game Astrologia, mm -hmm. and which was super crazy because it was out of the blue. Yeah. Um, and apparently we were big enough that like a developer was like, "Hey, yeah, these guys are let's play." Right. Um, right back to where you were. Oh no! Not exactly. I guess our our tactic. Oh, yeah. oh, you just like bounced off of it. I guess I our tactic did. of like not like promoting ourselves in that way is working. No, I, guess. I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, there's, you know, I don't know that Marcus understands <laughs> that you're not supposed to like shamelessly like promote yourself. Yeah, yeah. you have to have some tact to it because he's what he's been doing is uh, which I he's not necessarily doing anything too bad, but. Um, he, he might be able to bomb when he hole. went down to oh oh it doesn't go through it, it, it just freezes. bounces off frozen okay so when he when he went down to bend for regular his, bombs um, oh I should go buy his, actual regular bombs for his vacation uh, yeah Marcus sorry I keep interrupting you but you yeah. go ahead <laughs> so when Marcus went down to bend for his vacation he printed out like hundreds of uh, what's it called uh, business Flyers. cards oh. and he like left them in places <sighs> and so. So to try to make it look like they were like dropped or something. Or oh whatever. my god! It, it immediately froze my okay, bomb. Okay, change oh, to a wolf. and it just shrunk. Change to a wolf. See if I can dig through there. Yeah. yeah oh, because okay. it's new. I can, in fact. Uh huh. What would we do without you, Bryce? Coming up with the ideas. <laughs> I have now wasted four bombs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hi. Um, sorry if you guys hear anything in the background. Uh, we actually have the air conditioning on because it's super hot in here. I'm pretty so sure it'll be fine. Rates. Yeah. We, pretty sure it'll we be We didn't hear it in the recording, so we're pretty sure you won't either. But if you hear anything, that's what it is. is I'll hear something. Air conditioner. <laughs> um, I'll always hear it's something. It's a canon. Oh, so this is more than a mansion? Yeah, it, well, was it's a, ruins. it was a fortress as well. Huh. Who put a fortress up here in the mountains? Uh, Someone somebody who did that. Royal and wealthy. Somebody. Um. I wonder if you can go here in Breath of the Wild. Or yeah, Breath of the Wild. Uh, I, I don't know. Don't know. Because these are. Because I mean. Okay, really. A lot of it places. It might be ruined by that point. Maybe like completely <laughs> gone. Blah. But it won't fit in your wallet. wallet now. Well, wolves don't have wallets. So it doesn't fit anywhere. Nor does he have hands. Just headbutting another wolf. No, you're biting when you do that. So I wonder how we're supposed to take care of this, like, ice. Uh, you get... Uh, oh, it's this giant ball and chain! Yeah, you nice. either... Or you could use a cannon. Oh. They're like, you can use cannons to smash the ice, or you can use the ball and chain. Right. I forgot about that item. It's such a ridiculous item. And it does so much damage. Uh, those things will those attack are, you. Those things are not nice. They move real slow. But slow is fast enough when you're on ice. Yes. Speaking of being on ice. Um, <laughs> I, uh, ah, dang it. I, I had brought up the astro Astrologia earlier. Um, and... A couple of days ago, I was actually sent a promotional copy of a different game by a different developer. Dang it. Um, and Paul, you actually had something to do with this. I did, yeah. Because you... What, what was it what Was it exactly? But there was they... a tweet that they posted saying, Hey, any uh, up-and-coming developer... Or up-and-coming Let's Players... Um, reply to this email... Or reply to, reply to this tweet, rather. And we'll give you a copy. And so I replied to it suggesting... Uh, Crackbox. Yes. What game is it? Uh, it's like Smile for Me. Yeah, it's called Smile for it's, Me. I don't know anything about it. It's kind of an odd looking game. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Um, well, I, I own it on Steam now. <laughs> yeah. So we could play it on the channel if you want. Um, or I guess you could play it on my oh, on my Steam account since you play on my Steam <laughs> account. But uh, I think, let's see, what did okay. I reply with? Wait. I, I, hi, my is name is open... Joshua Let's Player. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was thinking more like Joshua Let's Player. Uh, either way. Yeah, like an with, with, apost with an L apostrophe, Let's Player. Bars. Um, yeah, so I figured, and that got their There's attention. Like they, actually, they actually went to my YouTube channel and found my business email and sent me a Steam there cube. Might be so, a key there. Just thank might. you, Paul. And there you are is. very welcome. Um, so I don't know if we're going to actually play it on the channel, though, because it's kind of a weird-looking game. That's all right. Um, I might, like, have... I don't know, maybe, like, my friend Rebecca come over and, like, play it, because I've been meaning to get her in on it, and I yeah. think she would be excited to play a game, uh, like, a promotional copy of a game. Yeah. I don't know. She is kind of... She's one of those, like, s what's the right word? Like, social catalyst sort of people. Okay. Where, like sort of like she kind of flits from place to place because she's kind of the life of the party so a lot of times she like has other plans so it's hard to kind of get her to join in you know Are those big goron swords but she has expressed interest no, they're just in like sword joining swords. the channel you know <laughs> well that's huh yeah they're just regular swords if only you and could take those swords i know right they might be better since they're bigger i don't know the master swords pretty good I don't think they're actually bigger than the Master Sword. Wrong way. Yeah, a little they're, bit bigger. They're a little bigger, but like the Master Sword is obviously of higher craftsmanship. So I, I've been watching a uh, theory about the Master Sword that it is probably made of a titanium gold alloy. Gold? Why gold? Is, because wouldn't titanium, that make it softer? No, titanium actually, if done correctly, titanium gets stronger uh-huh. When paired with gold. Interesting. I didn't know that. Strange. I think it's like uh, three to one ratio for titanium and gold. And it like it 
it has to be heated to an extremely high temperature yeah. in yeah. order to make a crystalline structure. Well, okay. I mean, gold... Oh. I mean, it's... Um, oh, no, it's Frost Atronox. Um, kind of, though. <laughs> these guys block and they're jerks. So, uh... <laughs> roll around them. Like, you ever heard of Aqua Regia? Do you know? Does that sound familiar? Like Aqua Regia, Ouch. the substance. No, I've so, never heard of that. Okay, so Aqua Regia is actually it's uh, it dissolves gold. Really? Yeah. So like you put like you put some like gold in it, and it actually dissolves it actually fairly quickly. Um, and so they called it Aqua Regia because you know the king's the king's water basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it actually um, and you can extract the gold from it using wow. chemical like uh, like chemical. Uh, reactions and there's this youtube channel that i've been watching occasionally uh nile red who actually put some like gold um gold flakes oh yeah into it and it, it was interesting to watch like the gold just instantly dissolve um like gold you know yeah and then later on he like got the gold back by like doing chemical stuff but anyways it's, um interesting yeah. so, very interesting so back to what i was saying about the master sword uh-huh uh Gold, the guy figured that it would actually be another good fit because the sword is also known as the Sword of Evil's Bane. Yes. And gold has historically been known to be, like, sp of spiritual significance. Yeah. And so it would probably le lead to the uh, spiritual aspect of the sword. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. On top of strengthening the titanium that makes up the blade. Plus the gold would, like, last longer, you know? Like, it, gold, it, we use gold as a form of currency. Yeah. Mainly well, because it doesn't... I don't doesn't, think it really tarnish. It, well, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't tarnish all that much. Um, but it also is really stable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it can sit there... And normal metals would like corrode, oxidize, Back to the kitchen. do various yeah, different things. Which one's um, there. <laughs> like even just have you know oxidize and then like fly off into the wind, basically. Right. Yeah. Um, gold doesn't do that as fast, and so gold can sit there for thousands of years, yeah, and it's no, it's only lost the... like he'll, he'll very small amounts of mass. So, yeah, um, it's a it's a really good standard for like monetary trading value so yeah but uh <laughs> pumpkin but why there that's a great question yeah why was there a pumpkin in a chest and why yeah. wasn't an, Ar an ardonian pumpkin husband in kitchen right now take pumpkin to him i try to remember try to remember why the pumpkin was oh no, the, where, she, the, where key the key is. is so she just gave us the wrong yeah <laughs> oh okay I, so she's hallucinating and having <laughs> she's like i think i left the key in here Oh no! That it was wasn't pun it was a pumpkin. I, I'm sorry, mom, but that also kind of sounds like you. <laughs> oh, our mom. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Where is pumpkin? It's like you kind of you have to talk to him. Yeah. I it's, didn't mean to do that. But just like we we ask her where something is, and she kind of hoes and hums and kind of. Oh, okay. Is she's not really very committal about where things are. Right. Like she, she'll find it, but just you have pumpkin, uh. Uh huh? Shove you and grab You have it. pumpkin, 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 ah! Uh. This literally shoves you to the ground so he can have it. Thanks. Taste if you want. Yeah, doesn't it get? Doesn't the soup get more powerful as you put ingredients? In? Yes, it'll heal you as you go, and and the final result will heal you lots. Ooh. Maybe we should yeah, replace that milk since it's starting to yellow. <laughs> I think it's just always yellow. Because it's from... Um... It's magical. Well, it, the yellow is actually from fat. And that's why, like, cheddar cheese... Good soup. The, the reason why it was originally yellow was because of the fat. That's what I've heard. Yeah. But since standards now... <laughs> uh, they can't have because of much. health standards yeah, they, and they, the FDA. Oh they can't no. all these government <laughs> regulations. They, they can't have <laughs> so much fat, and so they artificially put in the the, the coloring. coloring. Yeah, I know it. Okay, new new place. Okay, to, to check out for potential key locations. So it's probably yeah. um, that or the companies that were making cheddar cheese 
they didn't have as much fat, but they put in the color to so she make up for controls it. Controls apparently the, the gates. She, <laughs> okay. Um, uh -oh. oh, there's the cannon. You can use the cannon to obliterate things. Yes. Uh, that's a that's a monster. Yeah, those things over there are nasty. Are they? The, uh, not these guys. There's something further away that we noticed. Those things are like. If I were to come up with like a name for them, I'd call them like Whisper Wolves or something. Hey, Wouldn't that be cool? That's not too bad. Ow, another one showed up. These are like, so much easier to fight as a wolf. <laughs> that one's gonna hit me as soon as I wonder as I'm why. Because um, they're fast. Because like, they're kind of like Will o' the Wisps in, in Skyrim. Oh, yeah. And they, and they kind of have oh, a trail behind like them. Ice rates. Kind of. But like, do you have like a good name for like an Ice Wraith wolf? Because like a whisper wolf, like that kind of that kind of like flows off the tongue, you know. Well, the wisps are like will the wisp is fire. Yeah. So it wouldn't really fit. So, but they're they're found in cold places in Skyrim. So that's why it reminded me. I'm aware that they are supposed to be fiery. What is that monstrosity? <laughs> that's that's what Bryce and I were just talking about, actually. Um, he blows ice at you and freezes you into a block. And he's really hard to get past, and I'm pretty sure we have to, to get you by him. You have to find him. a cannonball. Like, you have to find a cannonball on the other side of the door, bring it through that. I need a key to get over there. Looks like there's something that you, like, put in there? or uh, oh, It's a cannonball, yeah. Oh, gotcha. You put the cannonball in this thing, and then pull the lever, and it puts it uh, through the wall for you. Go left. Left from here? Like, ah, turn around. Ah, get out of the stuff. It isn't that deep. Okay. Uh, Go where? Right. Uh, it looks like there's a way through there. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Oh, this window doesn't have bars. You're right. Okay. Yeah, I, I was looking at the map there. Oh, those are thick walls. Yes, they are. It is Here I am, just keeping everyone on track. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's 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 necessary. I mean, if, if this were just us, like like Trouble Blur and I, we'd just be like, oh, where do we go? It might be a couple <laughs> for episodes. like five episodes. <gasps> Watch out for the pucks. Oh, there's the cannonball. There it is. Yep. But how do you get it back? By being stronger than I should be. Dang it. By being stronger than I realistically should be. Yeah, this link is a little overpowered. Ow. You know, all the links are a little overpowered. To be to be honest. Like, <laughs> like Ocarina of Time Link, he, he's kind of just super buffed because of items, really. Yeah. But... Can you? That I am does. not strong enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's okay, fine. Good. Okay, good. It's I was fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we might want to use the cannon, the cannon on. Um, maybe if you use the boots, you won't slip around. Um, that's a possibility. I'm not sure. Let me uh, try that out. I mean, yeah, it is. It is. You're yeah, moving, I mean, yes. But you're, you're also fast slow. enough to, to slip. <laughs> well, um, what's more important? Stability? Yeah. Or, uh... Or speed? Ah, from behind. Couldn't you have just done a spin attack? I wasn't quick enough. That was odd Dang physics. it. <laughs> I, it's because I hit the, uh, the wood right next to me. Well, I mean, the it bounced off the cannonball. No, like, I, it was... Oh, you mean the dude. Yeah, the yeah. little dude, yeah. The little and duder. Then the cannonball didn't move. Yeah. Fear me, ice children. I mean, that cannonball probably weighs what, like, forty kilos? No. I don't know. Apparently, it hit the rupee. <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> All right, onward we go. Are we gonna? Oh no no! Are we gonna? <laughs> <laughs> that did not quite go as planned. Are we gonna pick this up and, and like take it through the entire maze here? Mm, yeah. It's in this room, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just remembering your your D and D thing that you told me that just like what was it like a paladin couldn't be near one character, and uh, so he, he just carried around like a lead sheet. Oh, so it wasn't it, it, it wasn't my D and D campaign. It was um, uh, Order of the Stick. There was a ranger character who had an evil alignment, and he was a halfling. <laughs> And there was this paladin who, the, the, the maker of the, the comic was, was really great. And he made it so this paladin was actually the main antagonist. <laughs> and uh, it was really well done. 
and the paladin would like detect evil on them. <laughs> and so to keep him from, <laughs> okay. to keep the paladin from detecting evil, he would pull out a lead sheet <laughs> and put it in between him and him and the paladin. <laughs> and they'd be like, "Dude, like you're a halfling." Yeah. Aren't you taking, like, so many negatives from, like, keeping a sheet of lead oh, on you what? at all times? <laughs> what yeah, was yeah. that? <laughs> so, yeah, this sheet of lead weighed almost as much as he did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know. That's... They should have made this a little more... I guess they wanted to get overemphasize how heavy it... Um... It just disappeared. You gotta put a did bomb in now. Oh... Oh, I'm gonna go through so many bombs. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. I was, I was really worried. Okay, the the blast from that should also hit Link in the face. It really should because yeah. of back blast. Yeah. Um, you should also be putting the. Uh, was that necessary? The bomb in first. I don't think that was necessary. Uh, was it? There has to be another way. Because we could have gone back through the door, right? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh wait, no, it's a different door. It is. Okay. I went to the wrong place. Gotcha. No, that's, that's the right way. So can I take going... it through with me? Nope. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I go without it. Okay. So. Speak... Oh, this place. Oh this place. man. So speaking of this place, we should probably call the episode here. All right. So this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. This is a Meg Wolf. Have a great day. Keep on running fast. Creepy music. <laughs> yes.